Hi, I'm here to talk to you about Hyper Agendas, um, which is a structure that I used to organize um, my students and myself while teaching fully remote in hybrid, um, in and out of quarantine and in person um, during the school year. So um, this is what a hyper agenda looks like for me. Um, I based it off of the idea of a hyper doc, which is that everything that the students would need for their learning um, exists in one place. So for me, this gets posted weekly um, in Google Classroom as a view only document for the students because there were weeks when I was um, posting a hyper doc on Monday and still building out what it was we we were doing Thursday and Friday of that week. So it allowed this to be a very dynamic document that changed um, in response to what it is that we were doing. But the basic structure looked the same every single week. So at the top of my hyper agenda, I would post what week we were in. And this corresponded directly with my Google Classroom, the way that that was set up so that students knew um, if they're working in this hyper agenda, that then if they go into week one, the materials that they would need um, beyond this hyper agenda existed in week one. Um, our essential question or questions was always posted at the top so that um, we could all orient ourselves um, to what it was that we were studying that week. And then the basic structure looked the same for the entire semester. So um, on the left hand side, all the way down is the daily agenda. And this agenda was the same agenda that was posted in Google Classroom in the stream. So my students were seeing it in two places. Um, and it doesn't really matter um, how you format your agenda, just as long as it stays consistent throughout the entire time you're with your students. So this was week one, of course. Um, so we have our welcome. We're going over Google Classroom and the syllabus and, the, and slideshow of book choices. And then their homework is posted. And I, I kind of kept the same format as, as we went throughout the semester together. And then in the right hand column was everything that they would need for class that day. So you can see on the first day, I asked them to go over into classwork and do the student survey in number one. Um, and then we went into our notebook study and, you know, I gave them any sort of reminders or tips um, for the technology that they were using. What makes these really great is, again, I can put everything that they need in one place. So on the second day of class, I had um, flipped video instructions and I link them right here. So as students are um, making their way through that day's work, their instructions are here and they work on these in the order that they're posted. So then um, I could post examples. So this led to a slide deck of slides of examples of what we were asking them to do. And I was able to give them the slideshow that was in the video so they can go through that slideshow um, at their own pace and pull out what it was that they specifically needed. And if I had any optional um, or stretch options for my students, I could also post those. So they could click here if they wanted for some templates if they chose, um, and there are instructional videos linked in there on how to use those as well. So again, everything that a student would need to complete Thursday's tasks were right in Thursday alongside the agenda. Um, I would you know, remind them what was due on that day, again, the daily agenda and their homework. And that, that is how we moved through the semester. So every week I would post you know, the next week's dates um, and the hyper agenda. And that way, if students missed a day, um, you know, they'll always come in and say, oh, I was out on Tuesday, what did I miss? And I could say, oh, go to week two, open up the you know, hyper agenda, look at Tuesday, and then let's talk about what questions you have after doing that. So it helped keep us all organized. Also, I knew where my lessons were. So as we moved throughout the semester, if I gave a, a grammar lesson in week four and on week eight, the student was saying, well, how do I use semicolons again? I could say, oh, go back to week four, Wednesday, and watch the semicolon lesson that's in there. And then let's talk about what questions you have. So it just kept everybody really organized. Um, I use this, it doesn't, again, it doesn't matter what the structure is. I just use the same structure the whole way through and it kept us all organized for the entire semester. Um, and that is how I built and used hyper agendas.